in amongst my uh, banking statements uh, with their subtle tax evasions uh, is, my, <laughs> is my double vaccination. Um, and this, this, is just, okay. this is just what I use when I have trouble masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> And it's also painting a picture of, of that being the only thing in that shed with Reese. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Reese and the two balloons. Everybody and welcome to Sounds Like, the only panel show that's all about rhyme. I am the host who likes to rap at open mics, and it's only my panel show of rhymes. It's Adam, yo, he's tight. <laughs> Sorry, I've not been on the show. Are we supposed to clap? Or do you we clap do? at everything I've okay. said. At the end, you clap. Joining yeah. me, as always, in Rhyme Square, he's my little supporter who gives us some order. He's miniature short and a bit of a bore in our equivalent border of Dictionary Corner. It's Jiminy Blazer. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, Jamie Blaze, his name is. Really. There he is. Yeah, thanks for that. Cheers. We're back with a bang. What a unique, famous bunch. In fact, this will stand with our least favourite ones. It's Bags, Philly Wang, Reese James and Dunch. Woo! <laughs> Mm, yum. Ooh. To that I say yum. Have you got any rhymes to, to start us off with, please? Have you got any any rhyme challenges to just warm up the brains of the old cats? So I saw a scheme in the in the forum knocking about the other day, and they, they didn't clock them all. There was some to still get. So see what you guys get on with it. So if I said the scheme was main attraction, David Cameron, Tracy Chapman. There's also a singer called Rachel Platten as well. So I've got three more on that scheme. First one is a uh, female actress. Oh, a female actress. Not a male actress, but a female actress. <laughs> Daisy Ackman. <laughs> that must be someone. Begins uh, with A. Begins with A. I think Ainsley both names Harry. are A, don't they? Amy. Yeah. Amy. Amy Adams. Adams. Yeah, there, there we go. go. There we go. And Racy I got it all on my Jones own. Teamwork. That was me and you, Reese. <laughs> I got it all. Team. <laughs> Second one is a car, so a type of car. Oh, okay. More US though. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. I, we can't just nick it from the chat, can we? Are we allowed to just nick it and claim station it? Station wagon. <laughs> oh. I mean, Dunst just went straight in with the, the, the nab. I'm not accepting that. Just don't point out the nab. It will look good in the YouTube version of the edit. Right. We'll yeah, well, there's no chat in the YouTube version. Oh, is, exactly. there's gonna be, is there going to be an edit? Okay, oh, yes. boy, yeah. station wagon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done, Reese. Uh, nice nice you. Thank you. Just whichever you feel more comfortable using. <laughs> Last one, old console. Oh. Atari! <laughs> <laughs> He's got old it. console. Oh, uh, Sega Saturn. Sega oh. Saturn. Oh. Oh. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was a chain reaction. All right, so we've got some amazing guests with us today, so let's do the introductions. He's a comedian on the weekdays. You've seen him on the TV. But when it comes to rhymes, is he great? Let's find out. It's Reese James. Hey. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Again, applause after Lovely. literally everything. TV. 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 That's how you pronounce it. When I phone up my agent all angry, I'm going to say, you need to get me some more TV work. TV parts. <laughs> please. TV. <laughs> Give me some movies, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> The last time he was on, he killed, man. Has he got the skills? Damn, I heard he drives a milk van. He's taller than you think. It's Phil Wang. Yes, I am. Six foot one. Six, Six two one. if I've had a stretch. Taller than one thing. How you doing? You all right? I'm doing great. I feel a bit slow today. I feel the last time I was last time I was on I was like that day I was I was rhyming things I was like big dog um sick frog and I was just <laughs> all day I was spending just practicing in my head. You had all the hits and that day. Today, <laughs> today I'm coming at this cold. I, so I, I hope I'm, I just don't hope I don't embarrass myself. And he stumbles over punchlines, but bless his heart he does try. Gets beaten up in lunch lines. It's that fucking Dunch guy. Hey. Hey, that's not true. I don't get beat up, guys. <laughs> not really. Not anymore. 
Not ever since I became a battle rapper. <laughs> you get all the chicks. Exactly. This has to be your dorkiest lineup, right? I've not seen all the lineups, but I mean, like, I mean, when, when you when you were talking you about it. when you're talking about getting beaten up for lunch money and stuff, I was like, you're in such a safe space for that. <laughs> <laughs> we we could have had Nas, Tupac, and Biggie, and you, and that would still have been the dorkiest. <laughs> I mean, there's not much we yeah, can do. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm starting to run out of rhymes on his name. His lines are so lame. He's kind of insane. Looks tired and gray, like he has aged. Look at those lines on his face. It's my little mate, Lion Bagnail. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so if you're just doing the same thing as you're doing with Please, you just completely changed my name. Look, I've run out of all <laughs> rhymes and energy and effort. So you hear on Mr. 13, he's got a couple. He's got a couple. I'll speak to him. Thank How you. are you? All right. Yeah, well, I'm over the COVID now, so I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. Oh, I don't care. Oh, uh, good. <laughs> so two separate teams tonight. It's going to be Bagnall and Reese James versus Phil Wang and Dunch. Uh, we're going to move right on to round one. <laughs> Sounds like a multi to me. Round one is Rhymes in the Wild. This is where each contestant is charged with finding two items that make the best rhymes that they can in real life from around their houses. Please, can you give us a quick example of this, please? As we have some comedians on, I've gone for, I've got Frank Skinner. Lovely. Yeah. We all know and love him. And that goes lovely with some uh, cat litter. Cat litter, <laughs> Frank Skinner. Mm. So, same I mean, brand. I don't know if you'll be happy with that comparison. Because I'm sure he's watching. <laughs> Save it for when he's on, surely. <laughs> for his intro. <laughs> Phil. Face me. Right. Well, thanks yeah. for returning <laughs> to our mini little show. And thanks for the shout out on Bud Pod as well, which it doesn't go unnoticed, Bud. That, that's why you got brought back on. This Day is one. how you get booked. Look, you need to help yeah. out with spreading the word. This it's a pyramid scheme, this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was greatly appreciated. How, how do you think you're going to do against Reese today? It's, it's the first comic verse comic episode, really. So, so are you intimidated by the by by Reese? I I know the ideas of Reese James and intimidation don't go completely hand in hand, but I I am a little nervous because Reese he's he's got poetry and his comedy. He likes a rhyme or he two. <laughs> and he's in that little he's in that little shed all day. <laughs> just evering away. No one just yeah, just working on little things. Just being a little weirdo. <laughs> Who knows what he's prepared? <laughs> Tinkering, yeah. All right, excellent. Do you do you have a rhyme in the wild for us, please? Fill it bang. Well, you know I can um never decide. Um on on a rhyme. I've got a couple I've, um this is a um a sp a spotty pair. A spotty <laughs> pair. Okay, I, I guess. To go that. with my body hair. <laughs> <laughs> I only got like a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if you picked up on the. Oh, you've dropped the pair. You've dropped the pair. I almost dropped it, but he has a watering can for this faltering man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. look at that. Keep it going. Oh, Keep that. it going. Oh. Looking uh, like, looking uh, like uh, Fuzzy Bear with that body hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's all I got. Literally all I got. I, I physically cannot grow anymore. <laughs> I don't have the genes for it. All right. Next up is Dunch. Dunch, you are having a meteoric rise in the world of battle rap at the moment by just uh, just copying my style and doing it in America. How yeah. is that working for you? Well, it's not just yours. I would say I've copied Pat's Day, Roan. Um, just <clears throat> uh, a bunch of white guys who I like, and it's been going great. Right, okay. <laughs> What's your rhyme in the wild, please, bud? Uh, so I have an Aqua Fresh bottle. Okay, yeah, Aqua, Fre a Aqua Fresh bottle. And the likeness, which is a ton of French novel. Mm. Very good, mm. okay. Mm. Simple, clean. <laughs> Wait, is Nothing this, crazy. Is this are Do you, you guys doing, pronounce uh, Aqua? I'm gonna keep aqua. it going. Are sponsored by Aqua Fresh bottles? That's not the the bad thing about the pronunciation. It was uh, it's a tube, isn't it? Not a bottle. I knew you guys were gonna call me out for that. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, well, get a watering can. <laughs> <laughs> Reese, we've uh, we, we me and you we've spoken before about rhymes and stuff because you used to do some um, comedic or humorous 
poetry, didn't you? Sure, yeah. yeah you helped me out one year with a, I was struggling with a little rhyme in the middle of a verse. I mean, barely. I think I sent I'd you done. a Facebook message. You sent me a suggestion and it helped me realise my first choice was fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's your rhyme in the world? So uh, uh, this shed that Phil alluded to is my office. <laughs> which means um, that it's full of stuff. So like in amongst my uh, banking statements uh, with their subtle tax evasions uh, is, uh, <laughs> is my double vaccination. Um, and this, this, is just, okay. this is just what I use when I have trouble masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Great. Trouble masturbating and double vaccination. Like, uh, <laughs> Why not, eh? Went for the double trouble. Nice. If I had a different um, accent, I would have tried to get raspberry flavor in there, but uh, it would have felt very unnatural. Yeah, no, look, particularly you, as it's strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Liam, uh, this is episode 17. Yeah. But you're in a new place. You've new moved house. in with your partner. So it's a whole yeah. new experience. So how did you manage to convince someone to, to move in with you? um oh just grinded away really i think lockdown helps so sort of like a stockholm so it was very much stockholm syndrome yeah but yeah. I've, I've managed to win her out and uh, now we live together but on the other side fred can't help me find rhymes here and there so you might see a difference Ooh. in quality of the things i come up with every we might okay so what have, what have you got today then what what's your what's your first one by yourself well, well weirdly I, it's the fifth episode in a row that i think me and blees have come with the exact same material um so we had the, i had the vhs and the free range eggs we brought free eggs on um sure. but but for this one so back in the day i've got some ink on my skin and that's a black figure eight that's a black figure eight and this is, is yeah a, a cat litter tray oh. that has mad shit for days inside it so <laughs> <laughs> yes. shit. it has shit wow. for days so it depends, it depends how you look at it so Black so figure eight and cat litter tray. Is what train. I'm writing down, black figure eight and mad shit for days. No, cat a, litter tray, cat litter tray. That's the thing. I just added a bit of pizzazz afterwards, didn't I? I'll give, you extra, I'll, give you give you extra points if, I'll give you extra points if you put your hands in it, mate. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, he rhymed it back, mate. <laughs> they found some shit to show from in the homes. Who's going to be the winner, though? Bleasy boy, if you could start, mate. <laughs> in last place fourth i'm sorry dunch i am going to do it because it is a tube not a bottle i don't know what that's about it. they Good. are called toothpaste tube isn't it do you know what i mean it's well I, you, there were a lot of non isn't it called wanking not masturbating that is a scientific word yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna go bagnell third no oh, come on man yeah. again dodgy judge dodgy judging second Philip Wang, and then I'm going to go Reese James for the win. That was fair. fair. Absolutely. Nice. Yes. Fair, fair. I'm, I'm glad I have Reese on my team. Yeah, Excellent. that was great. Right. Now, as we go through this week's episode, we're going to be monitoring Twitter as well because we have a challenge for everyone watching to work on as we go through this episode. So, whomever can come up with the best rhyme for Afghanistan will be the multilinguist of the week. So get on Twitter and use the hashtag sounds like show and we will be retweeting and we'll announce the winner at the end. I will say though, I'm putting a ban on using Taliban uh, because uh, otherwise everyone's Taliban. just going to say the Taliban. same thing. So there's a Taliban mm -hmm. ban. And all the Pakistan stuff. It's got to be Afghanistan like that. Isn't it? Afghanistan. Da, 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 right? So it's mm -hmm. tricky. Mm -hmm. Okay. But let's move on <laughs> to round two. <laughs> Okay, we're now through to round two, the quick fire rhyme game. This is where I will give a team a word or words and then a clue as to what rhymes with that word. You can't come up with just any rhyme. You have to get the one from the clue. So if the rhyme scheme was apples and string vests and the clue was an indisputable truth we all know, the answer would be Bagnall's a dickhead. So we're going to start with Bagnall and Reese. Do you two have a team name or can you come up with one now? Oh. What are you uh, thinking, Reese? Bag of Reese's? Uh, yeah, James team. Bag, bag of Reese's works, doesn't it? 
Yeah, that just kind of shows. Reese's, but Reese, Reese's, we'll spell Reese's like Reese's Pieces, and then they, you know, they make that shows Reese's sense. interest levels in this show. That he's right. Honestly, I was going to go black t shirt boys. So <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> That's far better. <laughs> I'll take bag of Reese's. Thank no, I, I like black t-shirt boys. Black t-shirt boys. What about so much <laughs> attitude? I, what about black tea boys instead? Isn't that a bit? No. But yeah, like yeah, let's do that. Tea. Do you have tea without milk? Good point. No, never. So never. you don't want any confusion, so we'll go for black t-shirt boys. All right, fine. <laughs> Just how do I top? How do... Oh, fucking hell, it's blue. What the... Dark blue top. We do actually have blue tops. That's weird, actually. We do have I can see tops. where you guys are going to go. As tasty as a bang and lunch, it's wang and dunch. Ooh. <laughs> bang and lunch? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I just thought maybe tasty something else. Tasty as a t- tasty <laughs> lunch, in a sense. As tasty as a good lunch. I was going to say, what's for lunch? Oh, for lunch. What's yes. for lunch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's quite good as well. What's for lunch? It's yeah, no we'll black t-shirt, boys, but I like it. No. <laughs> right, okay. So this round is just for uh, the black t-shirt, boys. So just for Reese and Bagnall. Three, two, one, go. Peak season, a fast driver. A speed demon. Correct. Okay, learning curve, podcast. Early work. Oh, oh, the only oh, podcast. The, the only Chief podcast. Inspector. Someone who commits a crime more than once. Repeat uh, offender. Oh, <laughs> mm. That's the number plate. Bagnell with his girlfriend. Wait, what was, the, what was it? What was it? Custom number plate. Bagnell with his girlfriend. Just another uh, date. Uh, <laughs> it's not bad. Good. It's not right. It's good, but it's not right. Skip, 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 skip. Right, skippy. Right, Kid Cuddy. Popular card game. Um, Rummy. Jim huh? Rummy, yeah. Gin Rummy, yeah. Yep. Correct. Okay. Uh, sex Magnet. Reese James Fantasy League team name. Wet Blanket. Ooh, <laughs> all right. Uh, chocolate Finger. Small Christmas present. Stocking Filler. Oh, oh damn. Right. Jeez, Reese. Uh, reimbursement. Co creator of The Office. Stephen Merchant. Stephen Merchant. Oh, damn. Burnt My Food. Elevated Look From Above. Burnt My Food. Bird's Eye View. Bird's Eye View. Oh, my. Doozy <laughs> bollocks. Right. It's boring in bed. You knocked up your girlfriend. British film trilogy. Shaun of the Dead. Um, uh, oh. oh. Shaun Wait. of the Dead at the world's end. What are you oh, The world's <laughs> end. Hot fuzz. Right. It's boring in bed. You knocked up your girlfriend. Yeah, the not hot fuzz, world's end. Wait, say it all. Um, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz at the World's End. Yes! Okay, waiting in line. Uh, Sean looks, Sean Locke's book, The Tiger Who. Came for a pint. Yes! Okay, uh, status quo, The Water Boy. Um, oh. Oh, uh, time! Oh. Fuck. Oh my stinky fat. Flabby ass. Reese, let's go. Black black t-shirt boys. Black t-shirt boys. That may have been one of the best rounds we've ever had on Soon's League. Until. <laughs> I've is... eaten too much pasta too recently to be good at this. <laughs> <laughs> they only skipped one, I believe. Um, it was the custom number plate. Bags with oh, his yeah. girlfriend. Oh yeah, Reese said just another day. That was pretty good. But was what was it? Very nice, very quick as well, but it's punched above his weight. Oh, yeah. oh. I thought I thought it was you, busted on her face. I thought you were trying to say that. <laughs> straight to. I was like, that is dirty. We are moving on now to Phil Wang and Dunch. You have two minutes. Three, two, one, go. Beauty parlor, cartoon. Uh, or if Dunch was saying it, uh, beauty parlor. parlor. Oh God, skip. Skip, yeah, skip. Right, okay. Bumblebee. Dunch's personality is based on this person. Shuffle T. Correct. Mm. Okay. Minimum wage. Shuffle T's personality is based on this person. Nicholas Cage. Oh, close. <laughs> um Ricky Gervais. Yes, correct. Oh, mine is based oh, on Steve Carell. Beauty blogger. American terrorist. The 
New Jihader. The no. Uni Bomber. The Uni Bomber. Uni Bomber. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Stand up show. Philly Philly Wang Wang. You're down right. Yeah. Sick as a dog. Yeah. 1939 film. Sick as a dog. Citiz Citizen, sick as a dog. Sick as a dog. Citizen Cog. You I referenced it. Dungeon. You, you huh? referenced it in your battle, King Jables. The Wizard of Oz. Yes. Okay. Uh, so Court Survivor. Monsters. I don't want to speak to the monkey. I want to speak to the supervisor. No. No. <laughs> Organizer. The uh... organ. Ooh. Organ grinder. Yes. Okay. Uh, Mike Skinner. Phil Wangbook. Side splitter. You're damn right. Okay, valid sky progress. This close, you are. Valid Skype address? Yeah. <laughs> You're this uh, close to being off, you are. Ounce, uh, ounces skip. I'm gonna say skip it. Right, method actors choose action for team member. Three Australian actors. Method actor, method actors choose action for team member. Three Australian, I don't know. Choose action for team okay. member. Okay. Um, Reese's got it. Come on, boys. Oh, Come on, boys. One. Heath Ledger is the I'm... third one. Yeah. Right. Hugh Jackman's in Hugh there? Hugh Jackman, yeah. Right. Please put them out of the How list. many above 15 did we get? Please. <laughs> <laughs> First one they skipped. That was Beauty Parlor. Futurama. It's Futurama oh. indeed. Indeed, baby. Valid Skype address. You're this close, so you're... Hanging, hanging by a thread. By a thread. Hanging by right. A thread. Method actors choose action for team members. So you got the Hugh Jackman, Heath Ledger. What was the method actors? Method actor. Sorry. Uh, Eric Banner. Oh uh, fuck yeah! You um, were at disadvantage in that the sentence of the clue makes no sense. I suppose in a in a way. It's kind of in keeping with your battles a little bit, no? <laughs> We move now on to round three. This round is called Count Up. I'm going to give everybody 30 seconds to come up with a setup and punchline, which has to rhyme in a classic line on a scheme that will tell you twats in time. At the end of that 30 seconds, you're going to perform them for Belize to rank from first to worst. Okay, Belize, what is the scheme that everyone's going to be writing from today? We are going for show and tell. You've got 30 seconds and it's going to start in three, two, one, go. What does it <laughs> Phil, I've never seen such confidence. You were literally just staring at the screen. Are you just, are you you giving me eye contact? Are you writing it on your computer? Yeah. Am He's I on rhyme zone. He's on rhyme zone. <laughs> 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 He's got the advanced rhyming dictionary waiting to go. Wow, that cool. Well, then he will win. I'll tell you that right now. Easy money. Okay, time. Jesus. Time. All right, everyone put your hands up here. Put your hands up in the screen. So I can, both hands, Bagnall, obviously, it, you can't just put your left hand up. Dunch, what did you get written? Uh, yo. Right, that's good so far. Yo, so sh uh, show and tell. I got them, I got them butter smooth rhymes give you that lotion smell. Mm. And if you don't like what I wrote as well, you can Go to hell. Yeah. <laughs> Telling me I can I can I can die. You All right, good. Burn. All right, Phil, what did you write with your little hands? Um show and tell. Okay, show and tell. I find this car I find this hard because I'm slow as hell. But still I'm getting old, but swell. I get paid the big bucks and I fold it well. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for a ten pound note or something, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't find one, so I don't know if I believe. <laughs> well, I'm got, I've gone cashless. Reese, what did you say? Uh, I was banned from show and tell when I took in my growing gel. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> mm. 
uh, originally it was it was Bowen gel and just pronouncing bone wrong. Uh, <laughs> but I, you know, I quickly changed that in the interim time. So I don't know if it counts. It says bone gel on the paper. No, that's fine. Growing gel is absolutely fine. That's brilliant. Okay, Bagnell, what have you? You look embarrassed. So I'm. Yeah, yeah, it's not great, but right. like that's the change, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. Fucking idiot. Right, go on. So show and tell. I had a bad dream and then I woke in hell. Until I heard you say hello from the other side, just to quote Adele. Ooh! Ooh. Yeah. I, yeah. So, I sort of don't know what it means, but I do like it in a weird way. And I, I, don't, the other side, I don't know what the it's poetry is saying, but I fuck with it. It's a poetry. It's poems. It's poems. Please, what are you going to say? Who's who's who was the weakest link? I'm shocked. Actually, I'm going to put. Um... I liked the reappearance of it, but Reese, I'm going to put you fourth, man. I liked it. Um, right. I'm surprised by that. I did uh, like it. Right. Everyone else had higher ranking. Several. Everyone had several lines. They had more, didn't they? They had more to it, but that was. I nice. mean, the rules were just a set up and a punchline, but you know, everyone. Had, yeah. Well, I, I got st I got stung by this first time I was on. <laughs> if, if, if I got stung by this too, Reese. Yeah. I was like, oh, easy, two lines. Okay. Wasn't easy. Yeah. What's more, everyone else had five. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I went for a classic setup punchline, and I will argue about the rules of comedy to the death. <laughs> oh, there will be. <laughs> Shuffle did actually after, say he goes. After filming. He I'm did genuinely surprised by that. Okay, but okay, who's third then, please? It's tough. It's tough. They all came nice, but I liked that he brought back the same item. I, that was it was nice. very good. It was very good. Fine with it. Third, I'm though. fucking fine with it. So just move on. <laughs> <laughs> it's what was I, it's also painting a picture of, of that being the only thing in that shed with Reese. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Reese and a tube of lube. Sorry, Pardon. bottle of lube. Sorry, Dungeon. <laughs> it's Reese and a <laughs> bottle of lube. Yes. Is it lube? Oh, oh it was a drink. Third. I'm going to go Wang third. But I am over. Sounds like fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for Bagnall second with the quote from Adele is nice. And I'm going to put oh, Dungeon lovely. first. Like, I think that's it. That that's a that's a sympathy vote, I think. But I appreciate I it. Definitely not. No, it was a nice, it was like a four bar, man. It was nice. Yep, stacking those rhymes. <laughs> We're gonna go through a quick couple of um entries for the uh Twitter uh challenge, which was uh, Afghanistan. So someone said San Maximan, who I believe is a football oh, player. I love that. I'm on the road, black caravan, where I feel at home, amps, that's Amsterdam. Right, fine. Uh, Tanyu Padnab Padmanaban. He's an Indian physicist. I think we all know. Um, backhanded slap. Whack cameraman. That aimed at you, Bagno, I believe. Back second crack. Someone said black transit van. That's a pretty nice slap. Yeah. All right. Uh, fat Didn't stacks of cash. There's some good ones. Sam Callahan, a musician by the looks of it. Some pretty good ones. Some pretty good ones. Reese. In early work, uh, your your podcast, you had to guess at the beginning what people were like at school. Yeah. And you were often pretty accurate, in fact. Um, yeah. You got to know us all a little bit over the evening. Sure. What are your first impressions uh, on the three other panellists that we've got? What do you make of them? What groups do you think they might have been in? Well, are you currently wearing a Slipknot t-shirt? I'm not. I'm wearing something else. Shuffle tea. Oh, it's a shuffle tea t-shirt. Well, oh, shuffle. I thought it says, yeah, I love it. So he's a cool boy. Wearing one of our, one of our, yeah, own, yeah. One of our own little branded. So what I was going to say about you because of the Slipknot t-shirt, times by a billion now that it's shuffle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't need to clarify any more detail. Phil, I know too much about Phil's past to know exactly who he is. And Phil has obviously been invited on early work several times, but claims to have deleted every hard drive that could possibly have anything from when he was 15. I don't have anything. I don't have anything that I want to share with anyone. Nothing that he's willing to <laughs> broadcast. So I know Phil was a dirty little dog. Um, <laughs> a dunch, I mean, a dunch, I, I, look, I'm easily led by an American accent. So it's, Dunch seems cool, but um, you know, I was quite happy to, oh no, I did dispute the bullied at school thing. And actually, if you're going to dispute it that much, probably were. Uh, <laughs> so I'll go with that. Shuffle, always wearing a coat. Ah, it does imply like some sort of coat based trauma. <laughs> <laughs> like it was pulled uh, over your Tom. head or something or so. I don't know. Sh <laughs> Although sh you strike me as the sort of person who would rip you know how people had those velcro strap backpacks they would wear and other people would do that and rip it and their 
bag would fall down. Yeah. yeah. Strike me as a, as a ripper rather than a wearer. Right. I was on the receiving. Yeah, I was on the receiving end of that. Oh, you were on the receiving end. Okay, yeah, I, got it sure wrong. I thought you were okay. But but I, you strike me as someone who, if that happened to you once, it would be like the, that. You could bring in a new bag that day. It happens one time, and then you just like immediately are just carrying books in the <laughs> from now on. She's going right. That bag's dead. Never use it again. Um, yeah. Bagnall, I'd say you made Perfect. or you, you filmed on. your own um, jackass. Yes. When you're at school. Yeah, big time. Encouraged your friends to do stunts, filmed your own jackass. Yeah. Um, yeah, satchel. We had a, yeah, probably a satchel. <laughs> uh, was it a phase in anyone else's schools where people would nugget people's bags, which is where they got them off the racks, turned them inside out, put all your stuff back in them, and then put them back in the <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I, I never had that. Oh, that people happened. did that at my school, and then they became a thing. I think you were just bullied, Bagnall. I think that was just. <laughs> uh, it it's actually very considerate for them to put the stuff back in. I, I, it's Is that quite why nice you're called Bagnall? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Bagnall. That makes so much sense now. But then there was a Doesn't... thing where people started doing the thing called golden nugget in, which is when they turned it inside out, filled it with golden nuggets, and then left that on the shelf. And it was as in the cereal. <laughs> the cereal, yeah. Who the hell is it? Because they must nuggets. have to. You have to bring that from home. Milk. You need to yeah. fill it with milk as well. <laughs> well, yeah, no, we didn't get to that stage, and I'm glad. It's like one of the best cereals of all time. Who's, who the hell is wasting golden nuggets, man? Yeah. <laughs> you know doesn't, I mean? doesn't sound like the kind of thing that would have happened to me. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's too cool, man. Sound like a multi Round four. Now, this is always on a specific theme. And before you answer, anyone can answer this one but you have to raise your hand and say sounds like and i will choose who gets to answer the question so last week i think we did rap groups but what have we got this week mr bleez we are going for talk show hosts talk show okay. hosts so let's have a test trial so if you're looking for a talk show host that rhymes with top of the pops it would be uh, sounds like phil wang Jonathan Ross. Yeah, good. It would ah, definitely glorious. do that. There you go, man. So the first one rhymes with Billy Crystal. Sounds like Dunch. Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, that's such a great Dunch, Dunch, Dunch. Parige. Okay. Lily Allen. Uh, it sounds like Bagnell. Jimmy Fallon. Ah, two Jimmy Strong. Yeah. Okay. Motor City. Come on, Motor City. That sounds like uh, Bagnell. Oprah Winfrey. Yes, oh. boy. Oh. Okay, out of turn. Come on. Down to us. Someone can do this. Out of turn. Out of turn. I think he was Ooh, on. Sounds, oh, like, sounds like. Uh, uh, I think it was Phil. I think, I think that Howard was Stern. Oh, yes. Oh, nicely. Very done. nice. Oh, oh man. Correct. Well done, Phil. Right. I got that at the well same done. time. Fuck. Yeah, Wedding well done to you. Too. Wedding singer. It sounds, sounds like uh, Phil oh, again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jerry Springer. Yeah. Yes, Phil. He's just Smiley. getting your back now. He's just oh, well he's gone up in the bloody famous, but all right. Okay. <laughs> Foam fingers. Come on, boys. Sounds, Sounds like, like a dunch, dunch. Joan Rivers? Yeah. Yes, it's mm -hmm. Joan Bloody Rivers. Let's uh, go. Mm -hmm, nice. Uh, that's this one. Right, okay. Uh, Abattoir. Sounds like uh, Bagnell. Alan Carr. Yes. Oh, Jesus yes. Christ. Okay. Nice. The great intelligence of. Sounds like Dunch. David Letterman. Yes! Mm. yes. Right, right. <laughs> Let's go, oh, baby! These blue t shirt boys, man. They ain't fucking yeah. around. All right. Thrown to the Lions. Sounds like Dunch. Whoa. Conan O'Brien. Oh, my. Diddy Arse. Yeah. Very nice. Very baby. Nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And this one, there's a bracket in front of this, and it says, fun one. This is Bleeze right in there. Fun one, change clothes. And I said to oh. Bleeze, no one will fucking get this. Um, so someone wouldn't. has to get it in order to prove him right and me. Also, no. also run with game show, which is quite cool. Game show. <laughs> that, that would have been... Sounds so, like... Mm. Ooh. Dave Jones. <laughs> is he a person? Is he a boy? You think of you Dave Jones? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. Davey Jones in the, lo in the locker. You tell me! 
It's like a game one. show where change clothes, and it is a talk show host. Yeah, but what is specific about it, please, to give them the clue? Ready? It's a cartoon. Superhero. Sounds like. Dunch. Space Ghost. Boom, baby. I yeah. have never heard of that in my life. That was the most fun I've ever had in my whole life. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh. So Wasn't you that? weren't wrong. Oh, Space Ghost, is, yeah, that, you know is, what? that is a fun one. Phil, last time you were on, we went through some of my old rhymes uh, from back oh, in the yeah. day and played a game to see if you could guess which were mine. In uh, we, we were doing sort of bigger selling rap artists against me. It was sort yeah. of Eminem versus Eminem. me. Which one was the right one? Yeah. But I don't feel like I got much of a chance to show off. And now that we have... Oh, you did. You gone, definitely did. Well, 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 we've got Reese on now, who has uh, his early work podcast. And so I thought it appropriate to go through some of my old material from a book that I have, Reese, because you haven't asked me on your, your show yet. Uh, so <laughs> my, my phone doesn't work. Oh, does it not? Is that? Uh, oh, it's weird, isn't it? I'm that... busy watching Dave Jones, and I just don't have. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd go through some of some of these and just see what you make of them, okay. Chris. Um, so I'm going to give you some 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 raps from. I, I think this was 2010. So I was not young enough to be really. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but this is the problem on the show all the time is I always read something and it's always like the guest comes on and it's like, I was seven. And then I'm like, I was 19. <laughs> and I wrote what I thought was amazing and still a bit do. All right, here we go. <laughs> so so this is this is from 2010. Stop with the silliness associated with Vanilla Ice and Drake if they procreated. <sighs> You couldn't be sick of this if I overplayed it and not even Mark Commode would say I'm overrated. Oh. I'm, <laughs> I'm confusing you. <laughs> Fuck a Rubik's Cube. Mm. Fill it full of pubic lube and abuse it, dude. What? Don't he's got the bottle, he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck licking a toad when I'm overloaded. I choked a toad, rolled it up and smoked it. <laughs> and then I've got a verse on this next page, which... I think everyone's going to really like. Right. I refuse to be a refusal bag. Right. I don't take shit from anyone who says my music is bad. You're yeah. amusing, twat. Screws loose, I lose them fast. I don't say fast, but there's fast, fast. Like Frankenstein with a wrench and I'm moving past. <laughs> I don't care for jewels or what you think is nice. I look past <laughs> the cash and breeze over the ice like Wayne Gretzky on a jet ski. <laughs> Pepsi could come to sell out like Pepsi. Mm. Own your whole back catalogue with a flex piece. I'm mm. a backward beast. I'm a Rex T. No, that's oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm a Rex T. With... I'm a Rex T. So what you might not have yeah. is that T Rex is a famous beast. Yeah, yeah, it's beast. That's what the, that's what went extinct, isn't it? You've got it, boy. I that's what feel they like teach you. you know. got it Wouldn't it backwards have been excerpt? No, no, it would yeah. be a Rex T. I a think. Rex T. An and also, I really like that you called it... Um, I, I went with growing gel, which is pretty tenuous, but you went for pubic lube for when you... <laughs> <Pubic lube. laughs> yes. that's well, I mean, that is traditionally yeah. the roughest part You want a you want slippery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the one that needs do. the most lubricating. Yeah. Of course you do. It comes with a brush. I, I have. I mean, I like it. I can score it on the categories that I do on the show if you like. Please do. Originality is the first one out of five. Um, well, Rex T. I mean, come on. Come along. That's four out of five. Four out of five originality. And five um, is the because highest. I, because I genuinely have. The only thing I've heard like it is is my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is like the I fucking I read one really lo similar to that to Doc Brown when he came on it and said this is the rap I used to write when I was twenty and then. <laughs> He was just like, oh, fuck you. Um, <laughs> and then the next, pure teen horniness. Um, I mean, you're talking about lubing up your pubes. I mean, how horny? You <laughs> can't get much hornier. Oh, it's very, very fucking horny. Yeah. <laughs> they look some slick pubes. That was <laughs> slick as hell. Yeah. Oh, oh, my boy. Um, they, they were like the, the mohawk. It's I classic, to, it's classic teen as well, isn't it? Because it's wrong. Them. <laughs> so it's like, it's the, so, yeah. The teenest of horniness is where you're not getting sure. it right. So I'll go five out of five for that. And the last one is Ryan Gosling, Ryan Goose score, Mickey Mouse Club score, which is how close is it to your work now? What potential does it show for what I now know you to be? Obviously five. 
I mean, oh. <laughs> I mean, it's bang on, right? I mean, it's exactly. Jesus, and you lot thought I was a fucking bad judge. What's going on down there? <laughs> oh, wow. No, I think in on my show, the, the lower the score you, it's like golf. You know, you want to be getting a low score, and right, you just got sure. a fourteen out and of I fifteen. Got basically <laughs> right. Yeah, that's good. So we move on to round five of Sounds Like. It's hardly hard. It's bar for bar. This is where we pit two players against each other to have a direct rhyme off and a scheme to rhyme by Belize and I. You'll be paired up with a minute and a half of uninterrupted back-to-back lines. If you can't continue, then you are disqualified. If you make it through the one and a half minutes, then it will be up to Belize to hear what you said and see who's clearly the best. So, who's going to go first? I'll tell you. It's Dungeon Bagnall. Ooh la la. Now, please. What is the rhyme scheme that they're going to be working from today, please? We have gone for hullabaloo. Hullabaloo. Nice and simple, easy nice money, simple. simple cash. Lovely little four-syllable piece. Lovely scheme. And I'm going to want to start with, I think, Dunch, because he's more practiced. We've got three, two, one, minute and a half starting now. Uh, Liam Bagnell's pretty dope, but Dunch is the dude. Um, it, um, are you as dope as the guy who brung in the lube? <laughs> oh, he's referenced a previous. Go on, Dutch. Who's got more feminine traits, your mother or you? Uh, <laughs> oh, he's using sexual stereotypes. That was fucking just rude. Fucking <laughs> just. Fucking just rude. Uh, Phantom just. I've been. Doing battle rap since I was 22? Uh, 22? Uh, 20, uh, 20 uh, look, have you heard of Jungle Book? Because yes. I've got love for Baloo. Baloo, yeah. Right. What does that have to do with it? Go on. Uh, that made me want to throw up into a bucket or two. Uh, <laughs> you should see when I'm in the buff or the moot. Oh, you don't want to see that. It's awful. I've got a girl who lives upstate in upstate New York. She's my buffalo boo. Is she the girl that thinks... <laughs> is that the same girl who thinks <laughs> Justin's the dude? Huh? Is she the same girl who thinks Justin's the dude? Justin! Who's Justin? Justin. Who's Justin? Justin. Bagno, who's ju- Go on. <laughs> Timberlake, come on. Right, I thought you meant Bieber. Go on. Uh, uh, <laughs> I would smoke some weed right now, but also mushrooms are cool. Oh, mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms. All right, oh. it's 1.30. Go on to two minutes. Go on. Um, m- mushrooms, are, uh, mushrooms are great, but <laughs> you shouldn't be pushing drugs to the youth. Oh. Ooh. Mm. That's good. It's relevant. Okay. 15 seconds. Uh, if I was pushing drugs to the youth, I'd get punched in my tooth. And you'd fucking <laughs> get sued. Ooh. That is Mm-mm-mm. fucking just true. Time. time. Oh, fucking time. just again. Time. Time. Too time. fucking uh, just in there. Please, how do you rank that? Who got? It's five points for the winner and zero for the loser. So who who won that? Who got the five points? Dunch Dunch was started it all the way strong, but bag. But then you started mentioning Jungle Book. I mean, what, what happened there? <laughs> What, what did that mean? I've got a love for Baloo. What does this mean, please? Yeah, I don't know what that well, means. I, I, was, I wanted to bring back a Have You Heard of reference. And I thought, you know, someone just said it before and it stuck in my head. And I Man. thought it just went off what you were saying. So and then no one that. said, no one came back with Jungle Book 2. Exactly. Oh. Oh. Exactly where I was going. All right. Yeah. Look at oh, him. Look at little Reese just flaring off before the <laughs> main event. He's jumping that's, in. That's the black t-shirt, boys. That's the black t-shirt, boys. That's the black t-shirt, boys. Right, okay. Please, I need an answer from you. Who I'm won it? I'm going to give an answer. I'm going to go for Dunch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go only just, though, man. You did come back, though, Bags. You did come back. I thought, well, I thought I killed it, but whatever. But you said, I thought Dunch killed it, too. I don't mind. It's don't nice. Mind. Yeah, it's drugs. debatable. It's a classic at the end it's of the day. It's a nice play value. Classic. Classic. Drugs to the youth. They'll argue about it online. They'll argue about it online for years. 
Now, this is a sounds like first, really. We, we've never had two comics face off against each other. In fact, if you're being technical, we've only ever had Phil as a comic on before. Uh, oh Doc no, and Brown. Simon Lomas. And Doc Brown. Lomas. And Doc Brown, yeah, but he's a rapper really, isn't he? He's, he's, well, a he's, he's more famous as a comedian technically, so. Uh, he's, he's, he's got the, he's anyway. A bedroom, he's a bedroom is, rapper, a bedroom rapper. We've never serious had, actor. We've never had. Medium comic, rapper, a serious actor, nice. We've never had comic versus comic. <laughs> Ever, so this wow. is quite a good funny. reason. Yeah, you're gonna find out why. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. What is the rhyme scheme, please? Pretty please. Finger me bob. Finger me bob. Did it a dot. King of the dot. Bibba bob. Okay, I want Phil to go first because he's been on here before. You've got. I'm gonna say two minutes for this because I think we're gonna need it with the skill that's gonna spurt out of these. Man, Reese, are you writing? Nah. You, you... <laughs> right, okay, restart. I saw Dunch do it. Restarts first. Three, right. two, one. Thingy my bob, go. Thingy my bob. It's been a tough lockdown. Give me a job. <laughs> uh, um, I'm, I'm going to just have to go. I left a thing on the hob. <laughs> uh, I'm sick of the judging. They're rigging this spot. Mm. Oh, wow! um, it's really quite difficult to. Oh, uh, the other spot. Ah. Um, oh, it's really difficult to think on the trot. Yes, go on. <laughs> um, how's my lighting? Am I minging or not? <laughs> um, oh, uh, uh, better than mine. I look like that King Pol Pot. <laughs> uh, um, I feel like I'm smashing this. I'm sicker than what? <laughs> Anything, anything. Uh, anyone else here getting just hot? <laughs> I, oh, I put a just in. I put a just. Um, um, one minute down. You know, it's not my accent, but I've really got to figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, uh, crushing this rhyme is why I'm still at the top. <laughs> oh, so bad. I love that. Uh, 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 um, uh, Come on, boy. Yeah, you're spitting really well, man. I'm spitting the snot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, got to take a break. Just drinking some pop. <laughs> pop. You're putting pop in that, are you? I've heard pop in years. I've heard pop in years. Um, oh. Fuck. Are you flummoxed by pop? Yeah, I'm flummoxed by the idea of fizziness being in there. A gassy drink. Uh, <laughs> Don't give me ten seconds. Ten seconds? Yeah, come on, boy. Well, I'm not going to be able to do it in ten seconds. Yes, come on, boy. Five seconds, come on. Okay. Um, I know it sounds like I'm singing. I'm not. <laughs> We're running out of time. I think we should stop. Oh! oh. There we go. Oh, I thank you, Phil, for bailing me out. By Phineas Fogg. <laughs> That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Please, who, I mean, one is a strong term, but who? Who, <laughs> who didn't <won>? lose? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is why this round's incredible. That was- I love, I, I love this round. This is the kind, this, the, this is, must be the kind of high you battle rappers get when you're out there. <laughs> oh yeah. Battling each other. You're feeling now, that's how it feels. That's how it I feels. I feel quite low. <laughs> is this the low you get when you've just yep. choked? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. Although perfect matchup, I fucking rated it. I'm gonna. It's, it's Phil. It's Phil Wang all, all day long. Now. Really? But I'm, were... I'm genuinely surprised by that. I thought Reese got that. Reese, no, because it was it was the same again. Reese, he was started off nicely, but then re, re, Phil did keep it consistent throughout. Replying wise, replying wise, he was, he was... that boy stay getting robbed, and you could be one of us, please. That's, That's not very literally could be I, one of us. I would have given that myself. I would have given that to Reese. Just it was wow. very close, but you are the judge. I, I I rated how quick Phil came back, and especially at the end as well. You very, need to change the t-shirt, mate. So after careful counting up of the things that I've written down, I can safely say that the black t-shirt boys, AKA Reese and Bagnall, have 23 points. Oh, my lucky number. And what's Phil Lunch brackets the blue shirt boys? 
have 34 points, Ooh. meaning they are the winners. So congratulations to them. You win two middle fingers up from everyone else. That's now what's for lunch. Points, points, points. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Just before we finish, we're going to go through a final look through the uh, Twitter people. So uh, some of the answers to Afghanistan. So we've got can't cancel plans. Let's all stand hand in hand. Lack gravitas. There's a few good ones, but I think the, the best one surely was Sam Maximan. Yeah, that's that's great. That's so good. Oh, lo and behold, it's Queso Grande, who has won for about the 20th week in a row. So very well done to Queso Grande. So our multilinguist <laughs> of the week is Queso Grande. If you think you can do any better, then leave your rhyme on the comments section below or on our Twitter, and we'll have a look through some of them next week on our live show. Congratulations and thanks to everyone at home watching. Thanks to our guest Bagnall, Rhys James, Phil Wang and Dunch. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram at it sound no at sounds like show. Be sure to join us in two weeks' time and make sure to watch our previous episodes on YouTube. Uh, everyone who is on tonight, their um, social media uh, uh, handles will be at the bottom of the, uh, the the description. So do check those out as well. Um, thank you everyone for watching at home. Thanks to everyone who commented on the live tonight. Good night, you sons of bastards. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>
without auto cues. But I also remember that I, I, so I had to record, so I didn't write any of, of the material for Jennifer Hudson. I wasn't invited to write any of it, but I did have to record it to say like how you would do it in a, in a rap battle how sense. You'd say it, yeah. And so she was listening to that on her flight from America oh, wow. to the UK, listening to my voice doing that. And then she landed. And then I met with her in, in like a, this, this hotel that we were in. Seeded. And um, I was like, so I, I was hired to come there for the day. And I was like, so um, how can I help? And she was like, no, nah, I think I'm good. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, <laughs> then. And then I just, I just went. And then the only thing I had to do was pretend to be Jennifer Hudson the day before when James Corden was you were standing her uh, and and she wasn't there yet so I had to be pretend to be Jennifer Hudson wearing a, a, a sort of like you know like a a, a boxer's sort of dressing gown kind yeah. of thing <laughs> and did, so, did she have it so, yeah 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 was it was she overly did she got cocky it? She she was overly cocky uh, overly cocky but then also deserved that cockiness because she smashed it which oh, was right, annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're so, so I'm into the professional, and she was uh, like better <laughs> delivering it than I was. Uh, you're, sort of, you're sort of Jennifer Hudson's English American cousin. Is that what you're <laughs> yeah, exactly? Yes, yes, please, that, please, that was please. me. I was sat there. Yes, please. I yes, learned from please. this show that I know that Doc Brown writes loads of um, adverts and stuff. Did somebody when he said he did, did just eat one? Yeah. So, but he did that. Yeah, yeah, he wrote. Really? He actually, yeah. he actually yeah, talked yeah. about that on the yeah. episode. He was on here. It was the first time he was I'm able to say it publicly that yeah. he. Uh, I went through a period where I thought I was going to acquire um, Doc Brown wealth because <laughs> I was asked to uh, for about a year. In about a year, space of a year, there was three different massive advertising campaigns that I got hired to write. That you know how British advertising is all yeah, yeah. poetry. Yeah, I got asked to write the poems yeah. for. And on two of the adverts, I wrote these things. They give you a big, it was all about, of all of them, every single one, different company was all about Britishness and how brilliant it is to be bloody Brit. And I was like, oh, yes. we love it. We love it. They basically copied and pasted three adverts because one got rejected and then someone else came along and said, can you write a Britishness, I think. Keep all these things in it. Cups of tea, corned beef. And it was like, yeah, I've already rhymed all of that stuff. So I just sent that, tweaked it a bit. And on two of them, they said, can you make this rhyme less? <laughs> I remember when me, me and Marlo and and a few other people went to France to do an advert for Foot Locker, and they said we had written all these sort of like lines, you know, uh, to set up and punchline, set up and punchline, set up and punchline, and the, the, they were all French who worked there, and they went um, uh, like the thing is that we like half of the material. Half the material is quite funny and, and good and there's punchlines. The other half isn't that funny. And we were like, but that's the setup. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so they, they just got rid of so like funny. everything. And we had to really battle to be like, you have to put those lines in because otherwise there isn't a rhyme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, and it's there's just not a punch, saying, not a joke. Like, a punchline. <laughs> and worse so, than that, you had to battle a shoe, right? You weren't yeah. battling a person, you were battling <laughs> so a shoe. I've done more demeaning things like that. I've, I've, found a, I've, <laughs> I've licked out an Oreo. 